Japan has made substantial progress in advanced naval weaponry, with the installation of its electromagnetic railgun prototype on the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces test ship JS Osaka. This development is considered a significant step in the nation's pursuit of cutting-edge defense technologies, particularly directed energy weapons. The prototype, developed by Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA, is scheduled for at-sea testing before the end of July 2025, a milestone that could profoundly influence maritime defense strategies. This achievement notably contrasts with the United States Navy's decision to abandon its railgun program in 2021 due to technical difficulties. The railgun holds immense strategic importance for Japan's national defense, serving as a direct response to evolving regional security dynamics and the proliferation of sophisticated missile technologies. Military analysts and Japanese officials view it as a potential game-changer against escalating threats, particularly from hypersonic missiles advanced by China and North Korea. China's DF-17 hypersonic missile, capable of Mach 10 and North Korea's ballistic arsenal, including the Wasong series, pose significant challenges to traditional air defense systems. The railgun offers a cost-effective and high-volume solution to bolster maritime security against such threats, capable of defending against missile saturation attacks that could overwhelm existing defenses. By investing in this technology, Japan aims to enhance its deterrence capabilities and protect its territorial waters, aligning with its shift toward a more proactive defense posture despite its pacifist constitution. The railgun strengthens Japan's position as a key U.S. ally, potentially influencing American strategic calculations in the Indo-Pacific through shared technological advancements. Furthermore, Japan's leadership in electromagnetic weapon development can stimulate innovation in related fields and contribute to its overall technological competitiveness. Japan's railgun prototype demonstrates impressive technical specifications and has achieved notable test results, highlighting its effectiveness. The prototype installed on JS Asuka weighs approximately 8 tons and features a 6-meter barrel designed to fire 40 mm projectiles weighing about 320 grams. The system operates at an energy level of 5 megajoules, with ATLA planning to scale this up to 20 megajoules in future iterations to enhance range and lethality. Earlier tests conducted in 2018 showed muzzle velocities of 2,297 meters per second, which is roughly Mach 6.5 to 7.2. The railgun has demonstrated a stable initial velocity of over 2,000 meters per second during 120 rounds of repeated fire, meeting its target velocity and overcoming significant challenges like barrel erosion. Japan addressed this issue by incorporating advanced materials, moving away from traditional copper rails to more durable composites, which has extended the barrel's lifespan considerably. In October 2023, ATLA achieved the world's first shipboard firing test of a railgun from an unspecified platform, a major breakthrough validating its seaborne viability. The railgun's effectiveness is significantly enhanced by its potential range and ongoing efforts to improve its rate of fire. The demonstrated velocity of 2,297 meters per second, Mach 6.5, allows for projectiles to reach distant targets rapidly. While exact operational ranges are under continuous development, a projectile fired at 45 degrees at this velocity could theoretically reach approximately 537 kilometers, without accounting for air resistance. More practical ranges for land, or ship-based railguns with Mach 6 capabilities are estimated to be around 202.8 kilometers or 110 nautical miles at sea. This extended range provides a greater standoff distance for defense and enables outranging strikes against enemy artillery units. The goal of the current research is to transition from single-shot firings to establishing continuous firing capabilities, which is crucial for intercepting incoming missiles or delivering multiple rounds against targets in actual operational scenarios. Key challenges for achieving a high rate of fire include managing the immense heat generated by high currents, 
and ensuring a sufficient power supply and energy storage systems for continuous operation. ATLA is focused on optimizing the railgun's power system and reducing the size and energy demands of its capacitor banks to facilitate integration into operational warships. Combat Applications and Tactical Advantages The railgun's primary tactical application is to counter the growing threat of hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5 and pose a significant challenge to conventional air defense systems. Unlike guided missiles that rely on complex sensors and costly warheads, the railgun delivers kinetic projectiles at hypersonic velocities capable of intercepting fast-moving targets with precision. Its low-cost ammunition, approximately $25,000 per projectile, compared to millions for guided missiles like the U.S. Navy's SM-6, and deep magazine capacity make it ideal for defending against saturation attacks, where adversaries launch numerous missiles or drones to overwhelm defenses. Beyond missile defense, the railgun offers potential for anti-ship and coastal defense roles, striking surface targets at long ranges. The absence of explosive warheads in its projectiles reduces the risk of collateral damage, making it suitable for precision strikes. Its integration with existing naval sensors, such as the FCS-3 radar or Aegis-compatible systems, could further enhance targeting accuracy. The logistical simplicity of carrying inert and compact railgun projectiles, which do not require volatile propellants, is a significant advantage in prolonged conflicts where missile stocks can be rapidly depleted. Japan envisions employing railguns as naval or land-based artillery systems, contributing to a layered air defense network in conjunction with shipborne surface-to-air missiles. For land-based systems, it is envisioned for counter-battery fire against enemy artillery units and as coastal artillery to engage enemy vessels. The railgun is expected to provide high-speed and high-precision strikes against targets across different operational environments. Japan's success with its railgun program stands in stark contrast to the U.S. Navy's decision to abandon its railgun program in 2021, after more than a decade of development and an investment of over $500 million. The U.S. program, initiated in the early 2000s, aimed for higher energy levels, 32 MJ, with goals of scaling to 128 MJ, but faced insurmountable challenges such as severe barrel degradation after fewer than 30 firings and massive power requirements that strained shipboard systems. The Navy ultimately redirected funding towards other technologies like lasers and hypersonic missiles, citing slow progress. Japan's approach has been markedly different and pragmatic. By setting more modest energy goals, 5MJ for the current prototype, and focusing on durable rail materials and compact power systems, ATLA has developed a system closer to operational readiness. Japan's successful shipboard firing in 2023 from an unspecified platform marked a world first, indicating its incremental strategy prioritizing reliability over raw power. This progress has raised questions about the U.S. Navy's decision, particularly given the cost-effectiveness of railgun ammunition compared to multi-million dollar missiles. Atlas Principal Director, Kazumi Ito, expressed belief that collaboration with the United States will expand as Japan approaches deployment. Several other nations are also pursuing railgun technology. China has reportedly conducted tests of its railgun aboard the test ship Haiyangshan, though details on its progress are scarce and believed to lag behind Japan's. Russia is also at the forefront of electromagnetic railgun research, making advancements in plasma electromagnetic guns and aiming for speeds exceeding 6 km per second. South Korea and Turkey have also explored similar systems, but none have reported successful at-sea firings like Japan. Japan's collaboration with France and Germany through the RAFRA project, formalized in 2024, further demonstrates its intent to share expertise and accelerate development, potentially strengthening NATO-aligned defenses.